Hello, students. So, last week, you wound up making... You're getting this far into a flashcard project, uh, where we had a situation of once we hit the start button, random numbers will appear, and we can select the correct answer while this timer is going down. If we get the answers correct, it'll say, yay, congratulations, and we can restart the quiz. Or if we run out of time, it'll say, no, we didn't win, and then we uh, wind up having the correct answer appear for us to proofread our results. And then we can start the quiz again. But obviously, we went from here, and we're going to wind up with something like this that not only has, you know, a timer, but also has not just addition, but subtraction, multiplication, and division, and which makes it way more frantic. So, and obviously, I really don't off the top of my head know what 8 times 7 is. Uh, 48, 52, right? 52? Nope. 56? I honestly don't know that one. What was it? You didn't finish in time. Oh! I did 6 times... I was right. I just did 6 times 3 instead of 6 plus 3. Oops. Well, yeah, obviously I failed. So, how are we going to get that from that, from this to that? Well, first things first, we already have a ton of code. And you're already probably going to get lost if you just keep looking at code this huge. So the first advice I will give you is, you see these little minus buttons on the side? Minimize it. See, now plus, it's still there, but it's minimized. You can get rid of stuff that you don't need to see in order to make it more visible for you. You can just hide it. It's still there. It's still all there. It's just, I don't need to see it now. It's just out of my way. So for example, this start button. We know it starts the quiz. We're not adding anything else to this, as far as I'm aware. Or even if we are going to change something, we're not changing it just yet. So, only work with what you need to work with at the time. The rest of it, hide it. it this will keep your mind, this will keep the page clear, keep it fresh, and you'll be able to see things more off, more obviously. So, what do we need, since we already have the addition, what do we need for the subtraction? Well, the addition has an add integer and an add to integer, so obviously we probably need to subtract one and subtract two. And then, on the start of the quiz, Oh, add 1 is randomized, add 2 is randomized, and those numbers are then put into the add text. The uh, And, uh, yeah, so we probably need to do that to the, sub to the uh, subtraction one. So subtract 1 and subtract 2 will go here after they're randomized. And then, of course, we're going to need to check the answers. So when it comes to checking the answers... You know, oh, we don't need to worry, that, worry about that. That's just checking to see if it's true or false. But in the actual checking answers one, the only thing we're checking here is if the add 1 and add 2 value is correct. Well, we probably need to also check to make sure that the add, that with the, uh, the subtraction 1 and subtraction 2 are correct as well. Hmm. But how would we do that? Hmm. Well, we're going to have to use the AND operator and the OR operator, which I'll go into.